The city of Denver can start pre-certifying businesses for the state's five-star program. Restrictions won't be loosened until Denver can lower its COVID numbers and keep them there for a week. Denver is in level orange right now, which allows 25% indoor capacity. The five-star program would allow for more, but Denver hasn't met the required threshold for the two-week case incident rate just yet. Coloradans waiting for weeks for unemployment payments to restart have to wait a little bit longer. The state needs to get a new system up and running to fight fraud. It will start using a company called IDME. The extra verification is required under federal law. CDLE expects to have the new ID system in place within a week. 165 doses of the Moderna vaccine were ruined after high winds knocked out power at a medical facility in Lakewood. Kaiser Permanente says a fridge stopped working temporarily Thursday, causing the vaccines to exceed the recommended storage temperature. They say they were able to save and administer 135 doses. The facility did not have a backup generator. They're now looking into getting one. Summit County Public Health ran its first Megapod on Thursday. It's a drive through COVID-19 vaccination site in Frisco. They opened several lanes of traffic to administer 500 shots in four and a half hours. That's about 120 cars an hour. Everyone needed an appointment and proper documentation. For the last month and a half, we've seen a steady drop in COVID-19 hospitalizations in Colorado. Over the last week, that number seems to have plateaued. 822 people are in the hospital with COVID. That number was 857 patients a week ago.